Hey everyone, my name is Mike Mello, Burger Associate and co-owner at Preferred Real Estate Burgers. Today we're in Port St. Lucie, which is on the east coast of Florida, between Daytona and Miami. So if you are looking for a home in Florida, make sure you contact us. We have a YouTube page and we travel the whole state of Florida. So depending if you're Orlando, Tampa, Sarasota, Miami, wherever you may be, we'll have some videos for you to look at. So let's talk about this specific home behind us. It is a Madison model of Coulter Homes. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom home with 2,289 square feet and the base price at the time of filming is going to be $474,990. Now it's the base price does not include lot premiums or upgrades and they do have that. The community we're in is called the PGA Verano community. There's a 54 hole golf course and it's a lifestyle community for active adults. So let's talk a little bit about the house. The house has this really nice paved driveway going up to a two car garage. A couple carriage lights on the other side. We do have a Spanish tile roof as well. We come over to the right. The pathway leads around with all this nice tropical landscape palm trees and all the tropical bushes. We step up to a covered patio area or covered entrance. The door in front of us has that opaque glass on it. We even have a window above it as well for some natural light and very, very tall ceilings here as well. So let's go ahead inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. They shut the door behind me. As I come in, the first thing I know is, of course, all this beautiful tile going throughout the home. And we're in the entryway. The entryway goes through all the way to the family room. As I look up, we have the elevated ceilings. And what they've done right here with the woodworking makes it like three dimensional as we look up. We have the tray ceiling with the wallpaper there. And also it's got some wood trim around it. A couple of light fixtures coming out as well. It's definitely a grand entryway. So let's go ahead and show you one of the three bedrooms. It's just down this hallway. So I go right into the bedroom. So. This will be bedroom number two. We have our bed, a couple end tables. We have some wallpaper that makes it look like stone. I prefer the actual stone myself. And of course, I like the color with the, like the dark grays. Behind me is gonna be a walk-in closet, so you do have a little bit more space in the closet than you typically do in the extra bedrooms. So follow me out of the bedroom. Uh, we'll go down this hallway. This door goes into the air handler. This door is the linen closet, so you can keep towels and stuff in there for the bathroom, which is where I'm at right now. So as I come into the bathroom, we have the white cabinets, really beautiful countertops. Of course, our sink mirror that is framed in white and has a light fixture coming out of the center of the mirror. We have our toilet, frameless shower, and of course we have nice tile. Tile goes all the way up, it's subway tile with that great accent, and we do have a window for some natural light there as well. So let's go ahead and go back. As we come down here, we'll go back into that hallway that goes all the way to the family room. But before we continue to go that way, we're gonna go ahead and go left and show you what we have here. So the first thing is a two car garage. It is an oversized garage. You can tell that by the space on either side of the garage door, plenty of space to open up those car doors. And right behind me is gonna be bedroom number three. So this one's a suite, en suite. So not only do you have your bed and tables and this really cool accent wall, but we have our closet and then right next to it, we have our own bathroom. So this will be a, you know, more of a desirable bedroom than the one in the front. We have the gray cabinets, solid surface countertop sink, and then the mirror goes all the way up to the ceiling with the light fixture coming out. Of course, the toilet, this one has a tub and of course the tile with a beautiful decorative tile here on the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and show you the next step would be the laundry room. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We do travel the whole state of Florida and check out different homes. And we have people that work with us throughout the state. So as we come through here, this will be the laundry room. So the laundry room is definitely upgraded. We have our washer and dryer. And we have all of these cabinets, which wouldn't be included in the base price, including a sink on this side, and all the great cabinets and all the solid surface countertops. Nice size laundry room for a 2,289 square foot house. So definitely, definitely a thumbs up on the laundry room. So as we come back here, we'll go back to the entry hallway. Front doors on this side, we'll go left. As we go left, we come to this really cool design on the wall with a mirror, put it in the wall with a you know, woodworking around it, a couple stanchion lights on either side. But on the other side is what we're gonna be talking about. This is a flex space. So this could be used for whatever you want. They currently have it set up as like an office with a couple chairs. You have a little drink area over here. I love the floating shelves and all the woodworking that goes all the way from the wall, all the way along the ceiling and all the way on the other side with these cool artistic guitars on the wall as well. So pretty cool space. So let's go ahead and go right. As we go right, we come to the main living area of the home. So this is where the kitchen, the family room, and the dining room is. So let's talk about the kitchen first. The kitchen has this really nice center island. It's got the whirlpool counter edge, which goes over and over to the side of the edge as well. We have three pendant lights coming down from the ceiling, seating for four people here on the center island. Over on the other side, we do have RGE 
side-by-side -side refrigerator and you can see all the cabinets. We have the like gloss white color, but as I look up, we have stainless steel with glass fronts, LED lights in there as well to give any sort of decor or china that you want. And that goes all the way around the kitchen. As we continue around the kitchen, we do see that we have our microwave, solid service counters on this side as well, plenty of drawers and storage spaces with the soft clothes. And of course the backsplash and sort of like a shimmery gray color. As I come over here, we have our stove top. It even has a pot filler on here. Definitely lots of upgrades in this specific home. GE profile air vent. On the other side, we do have our dishwasher and our sink area with the faucet coming out and even more storage on the side as well. As we continue, we do have a double oven. It's a GE profile, so you can cook your turkey and anything else you need here as well. And then we have our pantry. Pantry is a walk-in pantry. It's a nice pantry. And it's got, you open it up so everything's hidden behind these doors, which is really neat. And of course we have our countertop as well. This would be great for putting like a coffee maker or something on here as well. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of this open area. So that's the family room and the dining room. So this is one big area. Um, it, if I look at it, it's sort of all connected together with the accent walls and also the ceiling. The ceiling has a tray ceiling with this really cool artistic designs going through the tray ceiling as well. The dining room is set up for eight people to sit around. We have our light fixture above it. And of course the accent wall with the, like the lighter gray color and also a picture window for some natural light up high. We have windows on either side of the TV and we have that same sort of accent wall over here in the family room. Sectional couch, plenty of space here. It's a pretty big area for a 2,289 square foot house. Behind us is a sliding glass door that opens up to the backyard. Of course, this is Florida, so outdoor living is one of the more important things that people like about uh, Florida. We'll show you all this in just one second, but let's go ahead and go to the primary bedroom suite. So as I come into the primary bedroom suite, the first thing I think about is that this is spacious. There's a lot of space here. We have a king size bed, these oversized end tables, this really cool wood trim around the bed with the different colors of the grays and the whites. As I look up, we have the tray ceiling with the beams going either direction and crisscross pattern. We have picture windows looking out in the outdoor pool area, and we have plenty of spaces even for a sitting area in the corner as well. So really nice size primary bedroom suite. Over to the left, we do have the primary bathroom. So let's go ahead and go in there. We go from the, the nice hardwood floors to this tile floor. On one side, we do have uh, the cabinets with one sink, white cabinets, the gray, the darker gray ca uh, countertops. And we have the mirror that goes all the way up to the ceiling with the light fixture. That's one sink, but there are two sinks in this uh, bathroom. We do have our shower. The shower is a frameless shower. We have the porcelain tile going all the way up. And of course the great accent going. And we have another window up there where you can see the blue, blue skies that we have out there today uh, for some natural light, but it's high enough for privacy. Now on the other side, we have the second sink, very similar matching with the white cabinets and the dark gray countertops. And of course the mirror going all the way up to the ceiling. Over to the left, we do see our water closet as well. And then the main closet back here, we go back to that uh, wood finish on the flooring and of course the custom cabinetry. Another upgrade, another example of some upgrades would be the shelving here because typically you have the wire shelves included, but you have all the space here and then you even have more space on this side as well. So plenty of storage for all your clothes. So the only thing we have left to show you is the outdoor living. So let's go ahead and go out there and show you that. Now if you are looking for a home in Florida, make sure you contact us. My phone number is 407-487-3030. You can call or text anytime. All the information, including my email, will be down in the description. We can definitely help you find the right home because uh, we do travel the whole state of Florida. So we've been on both coasts and seen a lot of the active adult communities here in Florida. So here we are on the outdoor living area. We have an outdoor dining set that has a, a seating for six people and also the living area as well. This is all a covered area. We have travertine tile, which would also be another example of a pretty high upgrade. And then the pool. The pool is gonna be a separate upgrade as well. Um, the pool is really nice size. We have the spa in the, in, in the far end with the beautiful tile work and the waterfalls coming out, even a little hammock. And this, of course, we're surrounded by all the tropical landscaping. So that's home. It's a pretty beautiful home. I love this home myself. So if you're interested in purchasing a home here in Florida or selling a home, make sure you give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you. Until next time, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.